Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Daily Dish. My name is Valerie Ike and on today's episode, we're hanging out with content creator Panky Roy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, 100. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. How are you welcome. feeling? You smell really good, by the way. Look- I was... Thank you. I was waiting for the camera to roll so that I can like see. But like you smell, I want to see on camera so that people will know that you look better. You smell better than you look, and you look good. So. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, gracias, man. You're Thank welcome. You so, much. Yeah. so let's get into what you do for a living. I was Ooh. trying to introduce you as a co- um, comedian, yeah. but you're like, no, no, no none no. of that. So let's talk about like you making skits and doing comedy, like. Can you tell us your journey to starting there? Or just your journey to that place, position? My my journey in the skate industry, like you said it as passion, mm-hmm. you get. Because like I didn't I didn't even come into the industry to like for the goal of, you know, like monetization and mm-hmm. all those stuff. I first mm-hmm. of all had the passion, mm-hmm. doing it for fun and then mm-hmm. boom. Mm-hmm. Money said they're coming. <laughs> That's the best type of fashion. Ah, no, that, like, so long as money's involved, it's a very good like, fashion. All of, all of a sudden, it's not like ah, this fashion stuff is ah, working. That's what it's it. pressing Let's deeper. Press it. yeah. Fair enough. So, what? Who are your? Who would you say your influences were? Like, if you could think of like comedians or content creators mm. that you found funny, that like you're like, yeah, I would like to be like this person or she like this person. Who would you say? Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Mm-hmm. So my biggest influence. My biggest influencer, um, basically, all my ideas come from God. Okay. Yeah, so okay. he just drops it and I make it happen. Really? Yeah. So, like, so now asking about your crazy process, do you ever mm-hmm. feel like, do you have to sit down and write it out or like it just comes to you and then you're just like, okay, this is what I'm going to shoot tomorrow? I, I script a lot. Okay. So, like, when it comes, I write. Okay. You know, there's, there's certain times when you get an idea and then there's no, because our ideas are like, you need you need like the top of the idea. You need the end. You need the mid yes. middle, and you need yes. where to add humor. Mm-hmm. So like when I get an idea, like a raw idea, I just pen it down. Mm-hmm. Then after like two days, I ha- I have like the beginning of the content. I'm yeah. like, okay, this is coming so you up. Just build up. Yeah, build the up idea. too. It's like a very heavy story. Like story. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we've talked we've talked about your creative process and how it's God given, and we love that for you. Mm-hmm. But now let's find out what challenges that you face as a content creator in general in Nigeria. Gang, gang. Or on your rise, Seth, like things that like you were already sure of this PO and then something just... Okay, uh, so there are many, there are many challenges I mm-hmm. face, right, from cost of production. Okay. Do you get? Mm-hmm. And you know, like when that year, when we're actually like, rising up, like most people didn't really see it as, okay, look... Um, well, this is this is a full time job mm-hmm. you get so like then cost of production was so high mm-hmm. and aside from that you know there are certain times where you drop videos and then it's not giving you that kind of expectation like mm-hmm. you're expecting that you see this video if I'm dropping it boom mm-hmm. 50 million views mm-hmm. you get and then mm-hmm. you don't get as much you don't get as much um, expectations as you get mm-hmm. so like that kind of uh, not now then like then that used to you know like mess with my head and I'm like you know I'm going to do better the next time mm-hmm. do better the next time mm-hmm. But at this stage, I've I've been able to understand it as a business. Mm-hmm. Do you get? It's more like my products. Mm-hmm. I put out some products. Some products hit the market. Some products don't hit the market. But mm-hmm. that doesn't stop me. Um, they are still really. pushing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this product that you're selling. Yeah. So a lot of times, um, people want to demystify and understand how you're earning, how you're monetizing, hmm. being funny on Instagram. I know we're talking about it and we're saying that People think that your numbers of followers translates to money no, in the it bank. Doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so can you share how you actually monetize the content that you create? Uh, so like social media has made it easier for us to monetize as content mm-hmm. creators. There are certain pl- platforms that pay a certain amount of money per videos and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Plus there is also monetization through ads, mm-hmm. through lifestyle, mm-hmm. like, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> and then like endorsement deals basically we own the internet space yeah do you get so there's there's always a job opportunity you just have to position yourself and then well keep okay. increasing your value okay so i want to ask how you deal with the competition because then please don't tell me you just don't think about them because that's everybody's typical answer uh, but like you're in a space that I, I do believe that there is room for everybody. I'm not one of those people that will say, oh, there's too many makeup artists or there are too many content creators. No, I believe everybody has their own niche audience. Yeah. But like, how does it feel 
that like is just suddenly so like saturated how do you make yourself stand out from like everybody else Brandon okay yeah that's the word fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> so, word. okay that's it that's it fair that's it fair way to put it okay so how do you deal with negative press that comes from not the fake heartbreak <laughs> <laughs> because you actually feel it yeah but then you know when you weigh the options you know that okay look they are better they are better like there are better comments, there are better reviews, mm-hmm. there are better things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you weigh the option, you see that now, nah, come on, this is just one. But sometimes, like you can, ah, you depend. <laughs> <laughs> just one, you want to be like, ah, no, yeah. no, this will enter, this will yeah. enter. But like, it's always a ginger to, you know, like do better and, you know, because if there are no negative comments, you won't, you know, like you won't buckle up. Yes, fair enough. Okay, sometimes negative comments are supposed to, Stare you in the right direction, but you can just pay. No, some, no, see, sometimes you get paid, don't worry, <laughs> but still, nah, you know, for okay. 100, you know, for you know, for so yeah. let's talk about any other interests you have. Do you feel like you, I mean, skits making is like acting, but do you feel <laughs> like you ever fully dabble to become a full on actor or make music? Um, yeah, so with time mm-hmm. and with time, very soon. Mm-hmm. I'm going fully into movies. Okay. Yeah, then business as well. Okay. What Full kind time of business? business. Products. I feel like this. I feel like content is more like a stepping stone mm, to course. my purpose, okay. and I feel like there's still lots of pancreas inside this pancreas okay. that you're seeing. <laughs> okay. I like yeah. that. So you're just all about selling yourself as a product. So yeah. Like I'm. I'm the product. I'm the talent. I'm the powerhouse. The products are the talent. Yes. Ah, I love that. Okay. Your last question is, are you going to give us any sneak peek into anything you're working on, whether it's a skit mm. or a film that you've already started? Because the way you said, very soon. Mm, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> are you going to give us a sneak peek into anything that you're doing? How many seconds is sneak peek going to be? Like, 10? <sighs> 10, okay. 10 is not bad. No, no, it's much. 10 is everything <laughs> already. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of five seconds and then... I want you guys to spit what's coming. It's okay. fire. Okay. Okay. So we'll play the video. Yeah. And you, we're going to play a five second video of what he's getting up to. Do you have like a release date for this or we're just going to be thirsting for it? No, no, no. Uh, I don't I don't want to release a date yet. Okay. Fair because enough. there's still a lot of background productions going in. Okay. But it's worth it. Trust okay. me. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. So can you let viewers at home know where they can find you on social media? <laughs> yeah, uh, on Instagram, Pankuroy. Facebook, Pankuroy. Twitter, Pankuroy. YouTube, Pankuroy. Everywhere is <laughs> yeah, Pankuroy. Yeah. Pank I love it. You should trademark the name. Yeah, yeah, sure. You should. I'm working should, on it. You should. <laughs> I'm working on a big project with Pankuroy. You, you should. Yeah. You should. You should. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I wish you all the success in everything that you do. And hopefully we'll see you soon when you're ready to drop that project. It's coming soon. Okay. <laughs> Wait we'll for see. it. We'll, you'll come back. You'll yeah, come back. Yeah, sure. All right. For those of you at home, don't forget, you can always join the conversation by visiting our Instagram, which is Spice TV underscore Africa. Until next time, my name is Valerie, and thank you for watching The Daily Dish. Wow.